Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to another exciting episode of Flutter. And we are talking about Dart in this video. And yes, I do agree, Dart is a very comprehensive, very detailed language. But we are not gonna be exploring each and every bit of the Dart, like uh, what are the bytes and integer values, what are the data types, exactly going like that. Surely we will be covering enough of the ground so that we can create our Flutter apps. If you have coded in any other programming language, you won't be feeling alienated. You will be feeling just right at home. And same goes for that. So let's explore a few more stuff about the Dart and eventually let's try to move as quickly as possible on Flutter so that we can create some of the apps. Whenever we'll be needing anything else, we'll be going back onto, onto this Dart. Okay, so we have seen this code probably like two, three times in the video and it works fine, it's great, it just runs, but it's not a perfect code, it's not ideal. So according to documentation, the thing that we are using here is string interpolation and we are not doing it properly. Uh, the string interpolation is just a fancy name that you give whenever you're using string and you want to replace any one particular word or words with variables. And that's exact technique is known as string interpolation. Yes, I know, fancy name. So there we go. And so what is going on wrong and why is it able to just run our code? Why is not throwing up any error? Because this is actually allowed, but the better way of writing the code is actually use the dollar sign and just use these curly braces. So this is the proper way of having it. When you run that, it just works fine here. So there we go. So why we are actually doing this? Now, since we can see that this score is actually of type string, we can notice here, it comes with a variety of properties. So is integer, so is double, and so is boolean, whatever they are having here. So if you want to have additional properties, something here, these are only possible in these curly braces. And if I just use something like uh, length, and I want to calculate the length of this uh, particular string. Can uh, It is being done quite a lot in Java as well. So if you do something like this, uh, it just works here, but if you do it without the curly braces, it's not going to throw an error, which is, I think personally is bad. It should throw up an error for these situations, but it just works on a very different scale. It just says dot length here, which is a little bit awkward when you're using a dot notation, it should act a little bit special. But in order to avoid these kinds of very strange cases, you might want to use the curly braces here. So that is actually a way better way. And in fact, make it a practice to use curly braces all the time. So enough of this code. We have seen this code quite a number of time. I just want to get rid of this. So there we go. Delete. Gone. Okay. So what we are going to do next, we're going to talk a little bit about loops. Yes, your favorite loops are still available in the Dart. There is no exception here. The loop that we are talking about is going to be used quite a lot. For example, you might having you might be having a list of entire uh, strings or maybe photos, let's just say photos, and you want to build an application which is Instagram. And you might want to place that side by side all these photos into a scroll view. Surely we can do that later on, but first we need to learn how we can access those particular images one by one. So let's just say we are having uh, an example of superheroes. We have an images of five or six superheroes and we want to access them. So what is probably the easiest way to access that? Surely there are other ways, but we're gonna go for one. So let's just say we're gonna go for superheroes. So we're gonna create a variable, which is going to be list. And that is gonna be a literal list. And we are going to put some superheroes here. So first and foremost, let's bring up the big guy, big green guy. And then we're gonna bring up something from DC. So we're gonna call Superman. Again, one more from DC, which is Batman. By the way, comic lovers, they always love DC. Movie lovers, they always go for Marvel. That's what I've seen. So with this, let's also bring up another guy, which is going to be Flash. And uh, let's just say that's it. We're going to go for this much only. Surely feel free to add your own superheroes here. So how we can iterate through over this list. Now list, since it holds a variety of values, it is it comes with a feature of iteration. You can iterate through each values. Surely there are many ways of, of doing this, uh, but the easiest way is, let's just replace this with a list. It's not a good word. I'm gonna call this as uh, superheroes. I'm gonna copy this because I'm gonna be using this quite a lot. So now we have superheroes. So superheroes is actually really simple. You can use a dot method and then we can go for looping through it. So we can say for each. Now this for each is kind of a callback. I don't know if you have followed me along with my JavaScript series on YouTube or not, but callback is something where you don't define any function. You just create your function body, everything just here. It's almost similar. You use a pair of parentheses 
and instead of calling a function from outside, you just define the function here, but without name. We usually do something like this for function. We create uh, a type here, for example, string, then we define a name, then put a parenthesis, and then curly braces. But what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna just delete this, this part, and this is our callback, as simple as it sounds. So we'll be doing exactly the same thing here. So let me remove that. What we'll be doing is we'll be putting a pair of parentheses, then curly braces, and that's it. It is your callback function. Now, since this is an iterator, it is, it is a for each, it will automatically be able to ex access all the elements of this array. So Hulk, Superman, Batman, Flash, just like that. So we're gonna call this as hero, because obviously they are hero, and we're gonna just drop it onto a new line so that easier for readability, put a semicolon there. And now whatever we want to do, we can simply do that. In this case, with an amazing power, I want to just print them. So let's just have a print statement here. And uh, next hero is, and then we have to just mention the hero name here. Again, we are gonna use a dollar sign, curly braces, and then we're gonna call this hero. And put a, put a semicolon, don't just forget that. It's, it needs to be there. Okay, let's run that. And what we're gonna see is, yeah, my next hero is Hulk, Superman, Batman, Flash. Obviously, you might want to have an index as well. So we can say something like this, at position, and then I want to just mention a position here. So how I can do that? Uh, it's actually really simple. You can use a dollar sign and then there is a property index of that you can use. So how we're gonna do that, we're gonna use Superhero, again, forgot that, uh, we need to use curly braces. So use superheroes dot index of, make sure O is capital, and then you can use your hero again here. As simple, it's not that much difficult. And all you have to do is run, and we are gonna see, come on, at position zero, next hero is Hulk. At position one, next hero is Superman. Okay, so it just reminds you that yes, our index actually starts from zero. So in case you want to add a bit of values here, like we want to start it from one, it's a simple assignment for you. So just uh, modify this particular code in such a manner that I should automatically every single time should be able to see one here, not the zero. Very simple assignment. Okay. So here comes this next assignment. So you do have languages. So note down the languages. It's C, C++, Java, Python, and Ruby, five languages. And I want you to print them, all of them, uh, in this manner. Uh, no need to be extra fancy, but only uh, change is going to be, it should not start with zero, it should start from one. Let me know how you're gonna do that. Post down in the comment section or discussion section, and I'm gonna catch you up in the next video.